you led the $15 million seed round for a company called Colossal that is focused on de-extinction. Uh, this is funny relative to our connection uh, and conversation about Jurassic World. They're seeking to restore lost ecosystems and use gene editing to restore the woolly mammoth to the Arctic tundra. Uh, how are they gonna do that? Well, um, I met this fascinating guy at Harvard named George Church five, six years ago um, and found him to be incredibly smart uh, have an imagination. Um, and he partnered up with a guy named Ben Lamb, who's an entrepreneur. And basically the, the, uh, the press and to me, the, the imaginative, like uh, you're capturing my imagination by telling me you're going to bring back the woolly mammoth and other extinct animals. And I, you know, we'll see where that road leads. I I'm, was more interested in an investor in the things that they're working through uh, around understanding genes in a more in proteins and CRISPR and all these other things, because um, being adjacent to George Church and his team as these things unfold over the next decade, I I thought was uh, the right the right thing to so do. People are important here, just like investing in people and seeing what the hell they come up with. Absolutely, I mean you can look through history and. Um, great things are done by great people, right? And companies, they end up over time becoming a, a logo and a, immediately what you think of them. But they started out with a person, with an idea and a team that cultivated that and made that happen. Um, and, I, and I think there are certain folks that are just immensely talented that if you can be around uh, them, and I also know his and his team's ethics in terms of, you know, after spending time talking about where the lines are, people in other countries that, you know, may not have the same process, may not have the same checks and balances are doing this and pursuing this regardless. So at least I felt like with, with George and Ben and their teams, they're also very responsible people. Mm -hmm. This is where the human side of things comes into play. I've interacted with a lot of really brilliant people in the technology space where you kind of, you know, there's a lot of ways to feel this out. You can ask them whether they kind of read literature. You can, you can feel out how much they really understand about like human nature here. Like wh whatever the technology is, when it actually starts to play, interact with society at scale, like, do they have an understanding or an intuition about how that happens? Some of that requires studying history. Some of that requires like just looking at the worst and best parts and uh, events in human history to understand like, hey, it doesn't always turn out like uh, everybody hoped uh, that technology turns out. And if a person has a depth of understanding about history, about, uh, human nature, then I think that's the right person to um, to mess with some of this cutting edge stuff. Yeah, you want Marcus Aurelius with a PhD from MIT. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.